What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel for another episode of In the Kitchen with Retro. Yes, I got a box of Entman's Donuts here. It's like, okay, what's going on now? What's this? <laughs> well, <clears throat> as you can see, this is an Entman's Variety Pack. Alright, variety pack. Um, yeah, the problem, there's a problem here. We got an issue. Houston, we have a problem. So I got two donuts left. And the one, the, the problem is, is the, the one of the donuts, there's four different kinds, right? You get two of each kind. But the problem is, is this little guy right here. It's the plain, plain donut. Okay. I'm going to squeeze it now. Uh, I'm putting some pressure on it. It didn't like hardly even move. There might be a little dent there. But yeah, see, it's, I drop it on the plate. I mean, it, yeah, it's like... It's like a brick, basically, almost. So, you know, with me promoting frugal living, and I don't like to, so therefore I don't like to waste anything, including food, of course. My spidey sense has got tingling. I'm like, hmm, let me put my thinking cap on. Could I possibly rejuvenate this donut somehow, some way? So you know, the range mate <laughs> came to mind. So I have a plan. So welcome to my laboratory kitchen. This is an experiment. I believe that it's, you know, it's hard to like that because it's the plain donut. See, here's the thing. This, the chocolate donut that has the chocolate coating on the outside, it was like still fine. But the reason, reason for that is, like I ate the other donuts first. So I guess, yeah, if, if you get something like these, your best bet is to eat the plain donuts first because they basically have no protection. Like the glazed donuts has the glaze on, it, it, it holds the moisture in. But the plain donuts, right? They are exposed to the air, even in, you know, like even even keeping them in the box, yeah, you know, right? So, I, you because know, I, you know, I, I didn't have the box. Hey, like I had the box like wide open like that. I, I had the box closed, you know. So, I, so yeah, when I went to get this donut like that, I was like, what's the Smurf? I'm disappointed. But yeah, the chocolate coating. See the chocolate coating on there. That like holds the moisture in. That donut was still great. So yeah, the plain donut doesn't have that. It has nothing to keep in the moisture. So I'm thinking if I just can, if we can rehydrate this donut, basically, it'll soften up and still be good, still be edible, right? So that's my plan today. So to do that, I got the range mate gonna steam it so just gonna add a little bit of water here and of course the st steaming rack insert because there you know we don't want the donut actually in the water because then it would get kind of soggy or whatever so there we go place it inside the range bank like so now just to make just to for good measure and to make it maybe a little bit more tasty I'm gonna drizzle, I'm gonna put a little bit of honey on the donut itself. There we go. Just a little drizzle there. Lid on it, and I'm gonna microwave it for probably two minutes and twenty-two seconds. Yeah, my my weird times. <laughs> Wave is going, and once that, once it dings, I'll probably you know leave it covered for about a minute or so because that steam is going to be still working in there, right? So yeah, two minutes twenty seconds of microwave. Leave the lid on it for about a minute, and then we're going to see 
see uh, see what we got, right? There we are, a minute. <laughs> That's my handy dandy stopwatch there. So let's see what we got here. It's a little squishier. I think if it's more time, there's still plenty of water in there. I'm gonna do I'm basically gonna double the time. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna double the time. Another two minutes and twenty-two seconds. Alright, round two here out of the microwave. It's been also sitting in there for a minute or so after it went off. Lid is nice and hot, so. Now let's see what we got here. It is a little hot there, so I'm gonna use a spatula to get it, put it there onto the plate. Batman on the NES soundtrack. So there we go. Huh? <laughs> look at, look at that. It's soft again. Just need to let it cool a little bit. I, I think I pulled it off. I, I guess the final uh, final verdict will be the taste test, but I gotta let it cool for about. I'm gonna say at least a minute or two. Alright, so we did let it cool down a little bit. Alright, I'm go we're going in for the test. Moment of truth. Number two bite. <laughs> By gosh, I breathe life back in that thing, right? Water, right? Water has the. Um, well, the Bible even talks about that, you know, like. You know, water has this um, life giving. Properties or basically whatever. I can't really quote a scripture right now for you, but uh, but I mean, yeah, they obviously you know John the Baptist baptized in the water, right? Dunk in the water. It's like your old self was uh, laid to rest in the water, and you rose up out of the water um, a new creature, right? That was that's like that's the symbolism of uh, baptism. But yeah, it's just like. In the middle, it's just kind of just still a little slightly a little tough in, in the little bit in the middle part, but I think if you just steam, maybe just steamed it a little bit longer, right? So that's the thing about this. Depending on how hard it is and how, de you know, like dehydrated it is, you may have to do it different times. It ain't a one size fits all. If, if it's just slightly stale, might, you know, might not be that much. But if it's really bad, like this one was really bad. Uh, next time I would say if it was like the same. Okay, so I got another donut left, right? I got another stale one here. Another dehydrated donut. But, um, yeah, I would double the time. So, 4 minutes, 44 seconds. That way it's all at once. And... Leave it covered for two minutes. 
I think that might be the winning formula, right? <laughs> but I want to know, can I get anybody out there to say, it, it appears you pulled it off, Retro. See, I can, I can break it now. I can do that. Before, it wasn't doing, it wouldn't do nothing like that, right? Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish this donut and um, not have to waste it, right? So, kudos once again to the range mate, man. You, you, you're just awesome. The range mate is awesome. If you haven't gotten one, go out there and find one. Now, you may, they don't sell them uh, like new anymore. The, the, once again, right? That's something from the past that's cool and and it's an awesome product so yeah I got mine on eBay you can, you can usually find them on there people sell them even brand new like some people like this had one but they never used it or whatever for whatever reason so, uh, so yeah I even I've gotten them um, I've seen them on there new before so you don't have to get a used one um, I can't guarantee what the price is going to be, you know, because, like, you know, supply and demand, so it's like if, well, kind of like a VCR, right? If you want a brand new VCR in the box, yeah, you're going you're gonna to pay an arm and a leg probably for it. But it, hope, I don't think that, that should be the case with the good old range mate. I think you still might be reasonable. 35 40 bucks. that's a reasonable price to me for something that's, so like so many uses of it you know you, you can just so many things i do burgers and uh chicken in here we, when i make my chicken alfredo i do the chicken in the range meat i just because i do my sauce in the slow cooker right uh so i can get the sauce going and you know have it going for a while and then i just do the chicken in the range meat and then when it's cooked, you know, then cut it up and I th toss it in the sauce. So, yeah, range main, I can't, uh, you know, I mean, you fry eggs in it, you know, eggs, chicken, burgers, steaming vegetables. Now, as you can see, steaming a donut, bringing it, bringing it back from the dead, basically. <laughs> I'm serious. This thing had a tombstone. It's like, yeah, I'm done. It's, but I was like, eh, I'm going to. With the range mate and the life-giving power of water, the rejuvenating power of water, right, combined, I think I pulled it off. Can I get anybody out there to say, it appears you pulled it off, Retro? <laughs> uh, but yeah, those are my thoughts. Leave me yours in the comments below, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. But if this is your first time to the channel, chat, subscribe, then the bell, ding, ding. That way you're notified when I upload new videos. So until next time, guys, keep it retro.